Unsure. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tuchanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. He really does process shit fast, damn. Alright, uh... Samara wants a moment with you, Commander. Oh yeah, alright. Let's see, unread messages. To Grunt's Commander from Shaman Erdnot. Damn it, I hate these things when you need to hear this. You're part of Grunt's Krant, and you're his leader, so you keep him alive. Here I have to stay polite and play the role, but our people are dying. Krogan have always valued survival over tradition. If you're going to survive as a people, we need your vat grown crunt. Okir was a madman, but he was a madman with a plan, and that's more than most have in this ball of rock. So bring him back from your damn mission. My people need him, and if you get it, all get killed, I'll piss on your graves. Shaman or not. Uh, Detective Anaya, greetings, Commander. I'm not completely sure this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse Mercs have gotten real quiet around here, and my superiors have backed off too. No idea if the two of you are related, but hopefully the next time I meet a... Or the two are related. Hopefully the next time I meet a Justicar, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If I find more data on her target, I'll pass it along. Thanks. Alright. Before... Let's go up to our cabin. Bought some new armor. Check that out. Need to buy some fish. Let's see, uh, helmet. Yeah, I'm not changing my helmet. Uh, chest. Let's see. Makes my shields generate faster. Increases my shields. Increases my power damage. Yeah, I think I'd rather just have a faster recharge. Shoulders. Increases my weapon damage. Increases my health. Arms. Increases shields, increases health. I actually kind of like the look of those. Uh, but I want the uh, yeah, I want the spare ammo. So storm speed, shield strength. Health. Uh, I think I'll take the health. Oh, hang on. What do the, uh... Yeah, these look a lot better, so I'm just gonna... Oh, damn it. Uh, let's see. I'm not too thrilled by having to wear those crap legs, but... I think 10% health is probably gonna do me a lot more than 3% shields. Let's talk to Grunt first. Not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. We started this because you were losing control. Now you sound more violent than ever. Rex said I was normal. Just had this built-up stuff because of being grown in the tank. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard, and we better not run out of targets. I'm not planning on living like this forever, Grant. Talk like that, and it won't be your choice. I'm sure as hell not quitting with a whimper. Just so you're clear where we stand. How much Paragon stuff have we gotten? Hmm. A little more. I think a few more missions and we can actually max the damn thing out. Let's go see what Samara wants, even though I'm sure you already know. And by this range, if a crew member actually asks to talk to me, they only want one thing. Uh, that sounded a lot more dirty than I meant it to. Unsure. 
I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morinth suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people. Made it with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much. And then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing. Claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morin.
Yeah, I do feel kind of bad for her for all this, but it's what she wants. It's what she wants. Eh, that's enough plan for today, though. Um, thanks for watching, everybody.